Okay, so uh, let's talk about torching because I see you you have a ginormous torch. It's huge. It's it's bigger than what I would use. So, is there such thing as over torching the product? Yeah, if you in, in on this particular look on a countertop, it wouldn't matter because we're going to we could actually it, cause it to burn on purpose. You'd notice it right away if you if you got a burn, you would it would bubble real quick. Mm -hmm. Then you just let it sit and knock it down a little bit, or you could actually take something and dig that part out, put other one on, take it with a brush oh, and okay. mix it up. So it's not a big problem if you ended up with a spot like that. Mm -hmm. But the idea is just to pass the torch across there and the flame doesn't even have to be on there because it's heat and the CO2 that's causing the bubbling to release. Okay. So um, it doesn't really have to be directly on there, but if you did uh, over torch it, so to speak, you could create a burn spark. But while it's still wet, there's plenty of options okay. to address that. And as my cups are turning, at what distance should I hold the torch? Oh, I'd probably put it just maybe a half inch or an inch of okay. the flame above it. Okay. Like that. Yeah. 